Hey guys, welcome back. This is Phil from TheCage.com and this is LG X Venture. This is their rugged phone. This is not exactly high-end like the Galaxy S8 Active or the, the Active series. This is rather closer to the X Cover series from Samsung. Uh, Samsung is not selling them in the US, but they have their latest X Cover lineup. It's called the Galaxy X Cover 3 and that has the similar specs to this guy. We'll get into that just in a second. So this is what the packaging looks like. There is the unlocked version that is sold in the US or in Russia, and then this is the AT&T version. So this is their branded packaging. That used to be really hideous with the white orange or the white blue in the later generation, but now it's a whole lot better than their previous one. There is a phone itself, and then there is their campaign, don't drive while you're on the phone. Please don't. And then there is the product safety and warranty guide. And the let's get started is a quick start guide. Nothing much. And then the micro USB cable right there, USB cable. And the charger with the output of 9 volts 1.8A or the 5 volts 1.8A. That means the phone supports Quick Charge 2.0. So you should be able to top up your phone up to 50% in 48 minutes. That's not completely fast in the 2017 standards, but it does have a relatively larger battery capacity of 4100 milliamps. And um, that's pretty much it. So that's what it has in the packaging and let's get to the phone. So this is what it looks like 5.2 inches of a full HD IPS display, wide angle camera, that's a five megapixel camera, receiver, and three buttons right there, three non-capacitive physical tactile buttons, back, home, and multitasking, and that's a button with the integrated fingerprint reader. And on the right hand side, there is a power key and two screw licking things. I'm not too sure if those two are indeed screws or if they're just design objects. On top, there are microphone holes right there for noise cancellation, volume rocker on the left hand side, and then this is called a quick access key. That is going to take it to the apps that you have designated or the Outdoor Essentials app that is very similar to the Active Zone in the Galaxy S Active series. So that's the button right there. And on the bottom, we have a micro USB port along with a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, and then of course the microphone. On the back, there's a 60 megapixel camera with the LED flash, at and logo. If you get the unlocked version, then you wouldn't have this engraving on it. Um, the battery is built in, you cannot replace it. LG logo and the speaker grill is on the back. Not exactly my favorite position, but we'll have to deal with that. Now let's turn the phone over and turn it on. Uh, the internals are pretty modest. It's got a Snapdragon 435 of octa-core processor, two gigabytes of RAM, and 32 gigabytes of expandable storage. You can do that through the micro SD card slot on the right hand side. And the rest is pretty simple. Android 7.0 Nougat, 4100 milliamps of battery. Uh, this is also MilSpec 35 with IP68 water and dust resistance as a rugged phone, of course. And there's a setting screen, so let's go through them quickly. And we're done. Here is the LG launcher. You can start tapping on it. And as usual, LG likes to line the icons up on the home screen like they do with the iPhone. If you don't like it that way, like myself, then you can switch it to the classic launcher with the dedicated after hour button and more of a cleaner desktop. And um, user interface looks like this. You can just pull the notification bar from the top and then you can change it to list view. The interface is classic LG one. It's not too complicated. This is rather clean uh, icons, black and white, and nothing special. One special feature of the X Venture is of course that quick access button that I told you. This is called the quick button, and um, by default, it's gonna fire up the outdoor essentials. It looks exactly the same as the Galaxy S Active's Active Zone. Uh, it's got barometer, activity, weather, flashlight, exercise, and compass. Um, they need calibration for now, so we're not gonna do that. You can customize it to your likings. There's a menu called the quick button, so you can set it up for one press, double press, and press and hold. And yeah, you can launch any of the apps that you want. There's also a thing called glove mode, so that is going to make the touchscreen sensitivity a lot higher than usual, so it can recognize your touches even through the thick glove that you may be wearing. This is definitely cheaper than the Galaxy S8 Active or the S7 Active even because it's got the lower specs. But as long as simple, rugged phone is what you want, the LG X Venture doesn't sound too bad for now. Uh, I'm going to use it as my daily driver for a few days, then I should be able to tell you more about the LG X Venture, how it's 
battery life is, how the camera is, how its overall performance is. We'll get back with the review very soon. Thank you always for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comment. This was LG's rugged smartphone with the modest spec and rather cheaper price at $349.99. That is a retail sticker price. You can always meet us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Google+, and we'll see you guys later. Ciao.